everyone, welcome to soundproofguide.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how to soundproof a staircase in a few different ways. A noisy staircase can disturb homeowners during their daily activities and night sleep. Sound is easily transmitted from one floor to the next via a staircase. For this reason, homeowners need to try out a combination of techniques that can help them fight that annoying noise. Here's a thorough guide that can help you soundproof a noisy staircase once and for all. It is essential to point out that in order to properly cope with a noisy staircase, homeowners need to take several steps that will guarantee that the whole problem is dealt with. However, the construction of a staircase makes it a bit difficult to soundproof, but there are still ways to mitigate the problem. So the first thing you need to do is to thoroughly examine the staircase of your house to see if any steps squeaks or creaks. If you notice any type of noise, then the stair treads are probably coming away from the stringers. You should then carefully examine the stair treads for any holes which indicates that the steps needs to be nailed down to the stringers. You should also look for any holes or gaps that exist between the steps. As we all know, gaps can easily transmit noise and for this reason, if you discover such a space, you need to cover them adequately with the use of an acoustic caulk. An inexpensive yet effective solution is Green Glue Noise Proofing Sealant. This particular sound sealant is durable and flexible, soundproof material that can reduce sound transmission and adequately cover any holes or space within your staircase. I'll have a link of this product and any other products I talk about in this video in the description below. Just a quick pause, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have any soundproofing questions, leave me a comment and I will answer all of your questions. It does really help my channel by people leaving comments. Thank you very much. So now the second thing to look into is the handrail. The handrail is an essential safety part of any staircase. If, however, a handrail is not firmly attached to the wall, it may not only deprive you of something to grab upon in case of a fall, but it can also cause a lot of unnecessary noise when someone climbs the steps of the staircase. In the same category of problems, we often use a loose fitting post. A building contractor should best address both of these issues. So a third thing you can do to soundproof a staircase would be to insulate the bottom of the stairs. The most important step towards soundproofing your stairs is to insulate them properly. As you can imagine, you will have to properly insulate both the bottom of the staircase and around the space as well. To insulate the bottom of the stairs, you will need to install a wood strapping along the surface of the stringers. That strapping will help you create a proper surface for your insulation attachments. A popular product in the market is a so-called pink insulation, which has an R value of 3. Some people have observed that only the top steps of their staircase are the cause of the noise transmissions around the house. If that is the case, then you should probably have in mind that the hollow space just under the threads may be the cause of this. That space may actually work as a big sound box. Try to move your hand into that empty space and fill it with insulation material and if needed with an extra bracing as well. So the next thing you could do to make a staircase a lot more quieter is cover the stairs. A useful step to achieve noise reduction coming from your staircase is to cover the stairs with enough carpet and cork adequately. To have the best results, you first need to measure the stair threads. An easy way to achieve this is to multiply the width by the length for every single step and then add up the results in order to get the total area of the stairs you have to cover. With the use of a knife, cut pieces of cork and fit them to the steps of your staircase. In case you have steps of different sizes and shapes, you can use newspaper to cover them beforehand and then create a pattern. Then you should do the same with your carpet. Cut pieces of carpet and attach them to the steps with the use of carpet tape. You could use a ruler to cut straighter lines of the carpet or cork. So if you do want carpet but you don't want to install permanent carpeting, you could also simply buy a runner that goes from the top of the stairs all the way to the bottom. Or as you can see in the picture, you can also get individual pieces to fit each and every stairs and they are called a non-slip carpet stair treads. They come pre-applied with adhesive 
that will leave no residue and can be reused multiple times. So it does not have to be a permanent fixture on your stairs. They also come in many different sizes, shapes, and colors. And I'll have a link of these types of products in the description below. The next thing you can do is use an acoustic underlay. If you find that the noise has not been sufficiently reduced after placing the carpet and cork I just mentioned, you could add an acoustic underlay as well. This material will add an extra level of insulation to your staircase, and it will help a lot in further reducing noise coming from footsteps or just from old wooden steps. An excellent choice of underlayment is the widely used Floor Muffler Flooring Acoustical and Barrier Underlay that is particularly effective for wooden staircases. Homeowners should also take a look at the Quiet Walk Underlayment for Laminate Flooring with Attached Vapor Barrier that offers noise reduction and moisture protection as well. Next up on our list is soundproof your staircase from above. To properly soundproof your staircase, it is important that you make it soundproof from above as well. The first step towards achieving such a thing is to apply some lubricant between the staircase's boards. Particularly in cases of wooden stairs, every step is usually made of more than one wooden board. As the years passes by, those boards may start to rub against each other and cause a lot of noise when you step on them. There are many lubricants you can use to achieve the best results. Try using powdered soapstone. Even adding a little bit of talcum powder sprinkled into the seam can fix squeaky stairs. And finally, you can try to soundproof the walls of the staircase. Using an acoustical insulation to soundproof the walls around the staircase is extremely important. You first need to examine the walls for any gaps and use an acoustic sealant to seal them. You can use the same sealant you purchased for sealing the gaps in your staircase. Add some insulation material to eliminate any sound reverberation. You can use many different acoustical insulation products. For example, a popular product in this category are acoustic panel studio foam wedges. Those types of panel can successfully reduce middle to high range frequencies, as well as diminish echoes. It is important to increase the mass of the wall as well. You can achieve this by using some high density products. If you wish to improve the ability of the wall to absorb sound and reverberation, you need to use different materials of high mass. An efficient combination really can provide you with the utmost results when it comes to soundproofing the space. There's also an option of using soundproof paint along the walls. This specifically made paint will create a thick surface to your wall that will prevent the sound from bouncing and reflecting. That way the so-called echo will be diminished and the amount of noise that will reach the stairs will decrease considerably. So there you have it, seven different ways on how to make your staircase much quieter than it is now. To find out more ways on how to soundproof your staircase, visit our website at soundproofguide.com. We'll tell you how to fight reverberation within the staircase, reduce noise transmission, also stop the noise at its source, and isolate the mass. Please let us know in the comment section below what options you chose and how it's working for you. We would love to hear any new ideas that could potentially get the job done easier and also cheaper. Every item that I talked about in this video can be found in the description below as a link to either their website or an Amazon link so you can easily find it and go buy it for yourself. Also, if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to our channel. We would love to have you as a subscriber. Having more subscribers, likes, and comments makes our channel more successful. So anything you can do to help us, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.